am super excited. I'm gonna be doing my famous cupcakes. And I say it's because I say they're famous, but I shared some of this last year and it was a big hit. And the really cool thing about this is it's super easy. So say hi, comment where you're from, where you're checking in from. Uh, we're here in Washington state, so it is snowy out, cold. The kids actually have no school today, so maybe they'll be coming in. They will be tasting these cupcakes for sure. So I'm not the biggest baker in the world. Biggest. I'm not the best baker in the world. That's why I love cake mixes. They're really helpful. And I think I've heard actually a lot of bakeries will start with a cake mix base because they can be consistent. Anyone else heard this? Anyway, but I don't do boring. I always have to jazz things up. So a few years ago, we lived in Spokane and there's a place called Cole's Bakery that had the most amazing gluten-free cupcake. Sorry, someone was saying something. Um, it was so good and it was champagne strawberry. And I love the cupcake, but who else has been to a gluten-free bakery and knows the price of gluten-free goods? I wanna know, the last time you went to a gluten-free bakery, how much you paid for one thing? Because I'll tell you, these cupcakes, they are amazing, but because they're boozy, I believe they're like seven bucks. Now they are bigger cupcakes, so it was a nice treat. But now, of course, we live three hours away from there. Or I wanted to do this at home, but I wanted it easy, simple, yummy, my style, right? So I take a cake mix. Now this one is one of my favorites, but you can use any kind that you have, vanilla or yellow. Any of those will work great. So that's what makes this really simple, you guys. I'm not the best baker, like I said, so if I can do it, you can. So you take your little cake mix. I always forget something, I forgot my whisk. And then you just dump in the cake mix to your bowl. Ta-da! I know, so much skills here right now. You guys can't, this is gonna be so good. You guys just wait, give you good stuff. My whisk, Miriam had my whisk. I don't know where she put it. I will find it. I'm gonna use this right now. It's all I can find. So we're gonna mix that up. Then we're just gonna put in, so I'm gonna follow the instructions on the back, except I'm gonna tweak it. So we're gonna put in two eggs per the instruction. Now, it would tell me to put in two tablespoons of oil. Totally could do this. But, melted butter, oh, it must be cold, it's already unmelting. Melted butter will add more flavor. And since we are not dairy free, that's what I'm gonna go with. But if you are, <coughs> I just threw it in the bowl. If you are dairy free, go ahead and do oil of any kind. You could also do dairy free butter to have more of a butter flavor. You guys, I'm telling you, if I can do this, anyone can do this. And then, this is the other place. So the recipe calls for a half a cup of water. I never put water in any mix because I use pancake mixes, all those. You can always do any kind of milk that's immediately going to boost your flavor profile. Water is easy, cheap. That's why they put that there. So instead of water, this is where the goodness comes in. We're just gonna take our champagne right here and it calls for half a cup of water. So we're gonna do one fourth cup champagne. Now you can just straight up pour it in. That's what I often do. This time I actually did reduce it. So I like heated it up to make it a little bit more concentrated. But it, so I did half champagne and then I'm gonna do a half strawberry puree. You guys, it's super easy. You just go get some frozen strawberries here and heat them up in the microwave and then throw them in the blender and you get yourself strawberry puree. Very easy, that's all this is. So we're just gonna put in enough to equal that half a cup of liquid. Cause that's, I know this recipe says a half a cup of liquid. Okay, that looks about right. So we're gonna put that in. So when you're dealing with, I know I say so all the time, but when you're dealing with gluten-free stuff, a lot of times it can taste kind of bland and dry. That is the beauty of this recipe. We are going to add in flavor and moisture. Anytime you add in fruit or like a vegetable to, when I say vegetable, I mean like pumpkin or carrot into your gluten-free goods, it's really good. That adds in the moisture, that adds in flavor. It's a fantastic hack without really that much work. So it's like banana bread is great, gluten-free, all of that, right? Ta -da. So I'm just mixing this right here. Now, another thing I've learned, I'm such a dork with this, this is hilarious. Ugh, 
gonna throw it away. When I say throw it away, I'm gonna put it in the sink. What you might wanna do, what I do, especially with these mixes, this mix actually is almond flour. I will let my batter sit for about 30 minutes. The reason is gluten-free flour takes a little more time to like absorb the moisture. So when you do this, you get a little bit better texture outcome for it. So there's my little hack for you guys that was free. Who's excited? Are, do, are you guys making any fancy desserts for Valentine's Day? I was not big into this until like Ariel's influence in my life. And now we do more special stuff for Valentine's Day just for fun because she loves it. They now look forward to this. this is, I think the second or third year I've made this recipe. And they all got excited when they saw the champagne. They used to be kind of more scandalized because we don't do a lot of alcohol, mostly for health reasons. So just because we're trying so hard to be healthy, we don't need to add alcohol on top of that. But this is the one recipe, it's worth it. And in your baked, and when we bake this, there's so little in there. You guys pour the cup and then it will just evaporate out. But now it's frosting time. So I will bake this later, not right now, but I did already bake a cupcake. So I have some cupcakes. Here's my little cupcake hidden over here. This was a different recipe, but or mix that I used. And yes, it's cool. Because who watches the baking shows and knows when you go to frost something, you can never frost something that's warm, right? Ariel and I always joke about that. Oh, it's too hot. It's going to slide off. And so then what we're going to do is we need to make our frosting. So when I make frosting, and I would love to know if you guys make your own frosting. You could edit this and have a and whip in some strawberries and champagne, but I think it'd be a little runny. Frosting is incredibly easy. Who's made their own frosting? Comment below. Let me know. Incredibly easy, right? Hi, Eddie. Hi, Lori. So easy because all you do is you just in your mixer. You don't have to have a mixer, but a stand mixer makes this easier. You just whip together your butter or whatever, depending on what you're using. Then you put in the powdered sugar and then milk or flavorings. You just whip it. It's really easy and so good. Maybe dangerously good. So normally in this recipe, I do use um, one half a cup Crisco butter flavor. So it gives me the butter flavor. And then one half a cup of butter. And the reason for that is kind of the texture kind of supports it. This time I decide just to use butter. I'll show you in a second. But what you do is you whip that up in your stand blender that's right there. You can see my mess. And you whip that up till it's really creamy. Now you want room temperature butter. And if you whip it, like if yours is a little on the cold side, you just want to kind of beat it longer because that gets it fluffier. When it's at that room temperature, it can fluff up better. Then you're going to put in about three cups of powdered sugar. And then you put in three tablespoons of champagne and three tablespoons of strawberry. So the cool thing about this is I'm not going crazy fancy. Hi, Donna. I am just putting the same things that are in the cupcake into the frosting. You guys, keeping it simple is a great trick for those of us who just don't have the super fancy skills. But you get to let those yummy flavors shine. So, da-da-da, my frosting. You ready for this? Be ready. Of it. You can kind of keep whipping it. So what we're going to do is make my cupcake all pretty. And here's how I do this. We've seen this little plastic bag. You get a plastic bag and some scissors. And I'll just fill up my frosting. And if you want it, you could do a half a cup of butter and a half a cup of cream cheese. I've had people in tell me, like message me and say that's what they did. And we're really happy with that. If you wanted more of a cream cheese kind of frosting. Okay, that's enough for now. And then all you're gonna do, right, is you snip off just the end of this. Okay, so now I have my little cake decorator and I don't have to buy all the fancy stuff and then lose it and try to find it. <laughs> Story of my life. So then, so me just putting the frosting on, just doing this really gets you a better result. Not a lot of work. Cause that's my style, right? Like best results, least work, least room for error. So you just kind of, I usually just kind of start on the outside. I don't know if you guys can even see this, but, and I kind of pipe around and around until I get there. Oh, see, I'm really happy with the structure of this frosting too. So you can see it's like holding, it's not glooping. 
Ta-da! So if you are whipping up your frosting and you're like, this is really runny, then add some more powdered sugar and beat it some more. Let it beat for a while. That's going to help that butter um, kind of go up to the right amount. So it's very simple, you guys. <laughs> like, see how easy this is? If I can do this, you can do this, right? Who feels like they can do this? You see how easy that was? And then I get to eat this because I made it. So um, the reason I really like this is there's definitely sugar there, but the champagne and the strawberries are like this tartness. So you have kind of some tart and not savory really, but this other flavor coming in to kind of cut the sweet. So it definitely feels more of like an adult cupcake besides the booze being in there. And it doesn't, so this way, it's not actually very boozy. So that way I can let the kids have a little cause it's not going to do anything, but it kind of has that feel of being more fancy without like some crazy alcohol content. Really good. Let me know what you guys think out of 10. Are you excited about eating this? Let me know if you want me to message you, I can like send you the exact recipe, but it's really simple. You guys, you can do this. And this is my heart with gluten free, right? I want you to feel empowered and go out there, get in your kitchen and just cook and not be so overwhelmed gluten free. So I got to go now. I got to eat my cupcake before the kids come back out.